Oh, what the f happened to you boys? Uh, we went on a, a spirit trip. I found my spirit animal. Oh, okay. <laughs> I found the ground, and that uh, my gas mask is useless. Did y'all just hear that scream? I did. I do believe someone is in need. Why don't we hurry over there? Uh, did you really find your spirit animal? Did I really miss out on that? Ah, yes. It was wonderful. Me and a Jolly Bun and Biscuits. Y you go out into, like, a more open, cropped out, like, mountainous area. And, uh, you, I would say you're above on a cliff, 20, 30 yards away. You see a woman fighting off these strange human-like creatures just covered up in like a dark red blood uh, and they happen to be holding what appears to be mining picks attacking this woman perfect i'm gonna cast grease uh everybody okay. roll uh, initiative for me as you get a closer look at her she kind of dusts herself off you know all this blood and grease next to her greetings nice to meet you nice to meet you my name is cecil as thanks for coming for uh, coming to my rescue. How about you boys coming over to my gang? Maybe a nice bite to eat. Gang? Yes, sir. I'm Shelly Pearl of the Pearl Gang. I have to ask, what led you to this source of um of life? I would say we're just a little bit of a local militia group. So you protect those in need. Mm, I mean, I try my best. I guess I, I guess you could say most of my work is dedicated to at least taking out that damn sheriff. Ah, you don't like Sheriff Bryce. You see the absolute visible disgust in her. She uh, she spits on the ground. You know, I, I have to ask, why why do you hate him so? You see everything that's wrong in that town? It's all because of him. What makes you say that, Shelly? Man's gone around causing terror, doing his own type of frontier justice. That ain't something I can abide by. Isn't that quite what you are doing yourself? Well, I guess the difference is that I just don't slaughter innocents like he has. Slaughter innocents? What do, what do you mean by that? My family. He's the one who put them to the gallows. All because they wouldn't pay his little old tax ever since uh, the town owner died. And then the mayor did not step in on this? Mayor's too damn busy getting drunk off his ass in the bar. As far as anyone's concerned, Sheriff Bryce is the one that controls everything there. You know, a lot of people around here don't want to follow a woman. So I greatly applaud you on, on the strength it requires to do that. That may make a little bit more sense once you see the rest of everybody. And as you're as you're walking, you start to come up into this, uh, I guess, hideaway in the mountains. You know, it's a little bit more of a plains field. You see a abandoned barn that's uh that seems like it's been patched up as best as it could. As you're walking up to the barn, you start to get a few glimpses of the individuals staying there. You may notice everybody there happens to be a woman. Ah, uh, hi. I see what you meant. Can we make it where I roll to see if I'm naked or not? All right, uh, just roll a d20, and if it's a if it's a ten or above, you keep your clothes. If it's below, then you don't. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Oh. We don't have any spare clothes either. Well, you're about, you're about to become. Um, you might want to cover yourself. And she she throws she takes off her her poncho that she's wearing as she throws it at you, Car Crawley. Oh. Thank you. You can keep it. Can I roll for dick size? Yeah, roll a roll a D twelve. Remember, you have the opposite of advantage right now. Oh yeah, you do. You have disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what a fucking schlonger! And as you realize, this is the very beginnings of where the stereotypes arisen, the origins of his people. As you go inside, you start to see a few more of the individuals, you know, all around the place, and you see women of all different types of ages and. A lot of them look a little wary as they see this group of men come into the building. Shelly seats all of you down at a table near the back and she pours out a, a black dusty bottle uh, that just says whiskey on it. Uh, come on, sit down. Ah, thank you very much. I, I appreciate your hospitality. And Cecil throws it back. So what's with them, with them creatures I was trying to eat you? Yes, those are the blood men of the mountains. As you look at her, you start to feel your face getting wet, Crawley. Everybody, as they take a look at Crawley, they see that his face is leaking blood from his eyes. Craw Craw Crawley, are you okay? And as as she says this, your eyes begin to gush even more blood. Oh, his name. If we say his name, cries blood. Oh, is that a medical condition? How about we just call you C then for right now, huh? Yeah. dog Sea Dog? Yes, I like the name Sea Dog. Yeah, I think it's best that you maybe go outside, Mr. Sea uh, Dog. 
I just go outside and kick some trees. Shirley, we came here because we are hunting something. Because something is hunting us. There's something evil in this town, and we intend to find out what. Well, I can tell you what exactly what that is. That's that damn sheriff. If there's anything bad happening there, he's definitely got something to do with it. Now, what makes you so determined that the sheriff is behind all this? Trust me, I know. I These mean, things we... don't just attack recklessly. They seem we... to be given orders. <clears throat> We could clear out all of these things. Imagine how happy your girls would be. Imagine the lives they could live. I wouldn't mind helping you as long as we're taking down the sheriff, but if I go anywhere near town, well, that's a bullet straight through my head. What about your friend over here? Why is he so quiet? As she uh, nods over the Carlos. He's Carlos, tell her the whole how your voice went back and forth. Well, you have to understand that I was really, really, really hungry. And I was chasing a, a big, big wheel of cheese down a hill now i talk like this yeah that'll do it <laughs> i had an uncle that passed away to something similar are any of these women here single as you as you say this you see her tense up all of a sudden you mind repeating that she's here sheltering these women i don't think she needs he's trust me he's good natured he's just a silly person it comes off badly sometimes she kind of waves it off oh um I was really hoping you could, um, properly equip us to combat this. I don't know if you noticed, but we're barely surviving over here. Our barn is barely even functioning. I guess somebody working with the sheriff could help us. Uh, another thing I could think of is maybe another group of people I know about hiding in the mountains. Could you maybe elaborate a little more on that? Well, you know how you called me a bandit? These are actual bandits, led by a man named, uh, Mayhem Archer. You mind telling us a little bit more about this mayhem archer? I don't know too much about them, but from what I heard, they are uh, they were fleeing the law over in Kansas. They've been holed up maybe a few miles south of the town. They started attacking the, the people there for a little while, but apparently the sheriff managed to keep them off. They probably wouldn't be too opposed to, uh, I guess, making reintroductions into the city. So we can't take care of the sheriff because the sheriff is warding off these vagrants. Correct. Well, the thing is, Sally, we don't have to team up with him. We just have to convince him to go after the sheriff the same time we do, and we take him out at the same time. You could try, but I don't think I can uh, really offer my assistances, to be honest with you. We've both had our own uh, infighting. Well, before you boys uh, do whatever it is you want to do, you're free to stay the night here. Thank you so much, Shelly. Before the, uh, the night ends... Cecil would like to walk up to, uh, to Carlos. Um, Carlos, if you can, um, would you hand me your, your rifle tonight? Your shotgun? Well, of course, silly goose, but you're gonna need to tell me why. Let's say upgrading it tonight. Uh, you'll, you'll see it tomorrow. I think you'll like it. Ooh, very exciting. Here you go. I can't, I can't tell if you're impersonating, like, it sounds like a, a gay Chinese man. <laughs> so, Andy, like I said before, before we walked back to Shelly's place, he would have, uh, Cecil would have used one of his arcane infusions on his backpack to make a um, bag of holding. Cecil, about Mayhem Archer and his gang, is that uh, they were terrorizing Kansas by stealing from like cattle ranches, and stuff like that, right? They're considered very dangerous. They've killed authorities coming after them. They've, they've killed random people just to, just to take their things. There's currently a bounty on them. Oh, please. Oh, God. Fucking Coomer. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like you've been inflicted by the taste of three-dimensional woman, Newton. <laughs> Sup, dudes? Kosal here. Sorry for how this video turned out. My recording muted my mic for the last hour of the session, but I didn't want the footage to go to waste. Anyways, all you need to know is that Shelly Pearl tells the gang about a suspicious church that sprouted up recently called the Brotherhood of the New Communion. That's definitely not the source of evil with a name like that. Trust me. Alright, peace out.